here with the new captain and vice captain of the Geelong Football Club, Patrick James and Phil Tom Stewart. Paddy, how does it sound to hear those words? Surreal. Yeah, it's a very proud moment. Um, and yeah, to, to do it with Tom, um, who we've known each other for a long time now. We talk football every day uh, at, at the footy club and at home. Um, it'll be special. Stewie, Vice Captain, congratulations to you. Uh, we've now got a formal two-man leadership group. How do you see your role changing, if at all? Um, oh, I don't think it'll change too much. I think my strength is going to be able to support Pat as well as I possibly can. Um, obviously, being in this role the last five years has, has been something that I've really treasured and um, to continually grow and, and develop in this capacity is something that I'm really proud of. Um, obviously, serving Joel in, in that role last year and now Pat, um, two icons of the game and, and to be part of this formal two-man leadership group is really special, but we understand it's going to take a lot of us to take this group forward. Paddy, can you give us an insight on how you and Tom will work together? Uh, look, to be honest, it probably won't be too much dissimilar from last year and the year before, I think. Um, we talk footy on a daily basis and it's, it's certainly not just the two of us. We're really fortunate to have a really experienced group. So whilst it sits in the, in the decals, I think it, it's, you know, it's far more um, significant and extends way beyond just the two of us. So we're fortunate to have you know, a group of 10 to 15, to be honest, that have had a really long AFL experience um, and we'll draw on that. And we're, we're not perfect, we'll, 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 um, we'll make mistakes here and there, but you know, it's part of the journey. Stu, I actually wanted to touch on that. We've got a, we've got a broad group of players here who are proven leaders. Can you just sort of describe for us how that works game day around the week? How do you guys bounce off the others and, and give us some sort of insight into how that all works? Yeah, as Pat touched on, we're extremely fortunate in that capacity um, that we have a multitude of players that have experienced so many things throughout their career. A mix of, I mean, Blitz, Category B, his journey, Tom Atkins, VFL player, Tom Hawkins, one of the greats of the game. We can touch on so many different knowledge points throughout. There is a massive strength of ours. It's an advantage that we've got that um, any given moment or any given part of the week or game day, we can touch on those points and, and really get the, the essence of the group and what it's feeling. So um, we'll utilise everyone to our advantage. Um, as Pat said, we're still growing and developing and we know we're not the finished product and we're very fortunate that we've got so many people that we can utilise to, to make our jobs easier and also to, to leave a good impression on the group and have a good knowledge of what we want to go for stand, uh, moving forward. Pat, you've been a leader in Adelaide, you've been a leader around here in AFLPA as well. How would you describe your leadership style? Dictatorship. <laughs> um, <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pat's world now, we're just living in it. Um, oh, very much collaborative. I think um, good leadership is about um, making sure everyone feels really valued, um, delegating and, and to be frank, like, and it's not disrespecting the role, um, it's hugely important and we both under, understand the significance of it. Um, but it's just so broad for us. Like, there could have been easily two other players sitting in, in our position. And we're so fortunate to be in this position, but we've just got such a wealth of experience in that area. Um, it's, it's drawing on all of that experience that we've got. You know, it's never gonna be each meeting or each session. Um, the, the last word will never always come from Tom or myself. It's, we've, it's far broader than that. Um, I think that's a special place to be because it doesn't load any one person up with too much responsibility in that sense. Um, and everyone will take their turn to contribute and drive the group and, and address things when they need to be addressed, whatever that may be. Um, but yeah, dictatorship. I want to talk about leadership role models, Stewie. Who have you looked up to across your journey? And even before footy, like, who have you looked to to learn how to be a leader? Um, yeah, it's probably something that came to me a bit later in my career. Um, I was probably more intrigued more than anything about what leadership entailed at AFL footy. Um, I was always quite curious as to what the group were, were talking about and, and the things they were sort of working towards. But um, in terms of role models, I, I didn't have to look very far. Like Joel was unbelievable for me in my journey. and. And Pat has been brilliant as well. Um, both different characters. Joel, obviously, very to the point and very astute with the way he goes about things. And, and I think Pat's leadership's 
fantastic as well that he's absolutely a competitive beast and brutal on the field, but he has that caring nature and that humorous side as well, which is just as important. Um, the joy that he brings to the game of football and um, the way he goes about it is something that I truly respect. Um, yeah, he finds such a great balance in, in, as I said, being a competitive beast and, and winning and wanting to being a great winner, but also just having that joy off the field. That's something that I've had to really learn in my time. Um, my competitiveness is, is something that I'm really proud of, but I can take it probably a bit too far sometimes and be a bit too serious, can't I? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best bit of uh, leadership advice you've ever given? Solicited or otherwise? Uh, oh, there's, been, there's been a lot through, through my time in footy. This is my 16th year. Um, Simon Goodwin was my first captain at, at Adelaide. Uh, and I learned a huge, lot, a huge amount from Nathan Van Berla, who took over post Goody. He was a wonderful leader in his own right. He wasn't um, the best player in the team, but he was one that everyone looked to, commanded respect when he spoke, everyone listened. Um, but I think the key is not to overspeak, not to overdo it. Um, I think you've got to provide the platform to others, for others to feel valued and feel like their, their voice counts, which it does. Um, and then as Stewie said, I mean, we learn every day from the players that we have around us and we've been super fortunate to have someone like Joel who, um, you know, if you hung um, Guernsey's from the rafters, he's would be up there. Uh, so I've learned a huge amount from him. Um, I continue to learn from, from our players every day, from Stewie, from, from Hawk, from Blitz, Cam Guthrie. Um, and that, you know, that makes every day fun, I think. It, 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 uh, promotes growth and learning every day. So every day is different and every day is enjoyable. What do you like about this guy? Like I know we all know how competitive he is. There mustn't be many that you prefer to run out with than Tommy Stewart each week. Nah, or to train against, or to, <laughs> to keep the group um, accountable to just being the best you can possibly be every session that you go out on the track. And I think that's a, a wonderful trait to have. Um, I think he's even more balanced since having kids. Um, a bit more relaxed, um, but his lays are sharp in terms of his intensity just to get the best out of himself. And I think that's such an important uh, thing to have as a leader, uh, that you're performing on the field and he's the best defender in the comp and we're, we're lucky to have him. Round one approaching, um, how do we maintain the rage considering the success last year? Oh, I think it's pretty easy to maintain that. Um, we've been through so many different experiences as a group been so close, having tasted the ultimate success, it does become addictive. Um, we're very, very keen to do it again, but we understand how difficult it is. So I think we've got that right balance of um, knowing exactly what we want and how to get it, but also having that thirst and that drive to continue to grow and develop. Um, Last night was a prime example of that. We had some new players come in that want to be the best they can right now, which drives us to be better again. Um, obviously, not everything's going to be perfect. It's not going to be the same as it was last year, but that's part of the most enjoyable part, that you have to figure things out on the run and, and determine our future, really. Um, I don't think there's going to be any want from the group to try any harder or anything like that. Um, we know what we want, we know what we want to achieve and it's going to take a hell of a lot of work but we're ex really excited for what's ahead. Um, Collingwood round one Friday night at the G, that's why you play footy. It's exactly what we're built for, it's where we want to be and yeah we can't wait. Yes, congratulations again, thank you Tom. Thank you. Thank you.